This is my first decoction mash. And I'm waiting for it to get boiling. You gotta stir it a lot so the grains don't burn. About 168, 170, got a little Here's my second decoction for my uh, saturation rest, dextrinization, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, the first decoction was the protein was uh, 122 degrees, and then the second decoction is for. So I'm pretty much at the end of my saturation rest, my starches to sugar conversion, and um, if I can find my recipe. Anyway, uh. I just uh, measured, uh, took a gravity reading, just to see, because I don't have iodine, I can't do an iodine test, I mean, I can taste it, it tastes pretty sweet, but I just wanted, you know, take a hydrometer reading, and it's reading, I read it, uh, it was about a 1048 at 122 degrees, since I put it in the, uh, in the tube, it, it lost some heat, but... That says about 150 right now at at the uh, 112. One thirteen, one fourteen, one fourteen, and it's reading about a one fifty or ten fifty, I mean. So one fifty at one fourteen degrees is a 1060 <laughs> so uh, my um, my uh, brew house efficiency was set to 75 percent it's pretty much default for most brews and the original estimated was a 1052 now if I raise my brew efficiency to 87 percent it comes out at 1060 and that's a little bit out of style for the German Pilsner 1044 to a 1050 and it has 1060 so yeah I'd say um, I'd say my efficiency was very 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 good it was above average average is 75 to 78 percent I think and uh, my actual OG 
original gravity was a 1060 actually let's let's take that back down to 75 percent efficiency yeah my my actual OG was 1060 my actual efficiency was 87.24 percent accurate on my sugar conversions and whatnot and I'm pretty sure the uh, the acid rest the uh, the acid rest the protein rest and the uh, dextrinization and saturation rests at 150 it came out to 154 155 like right on a dot when I uh, added my decoction back into my mash tun and uh, I'm pretty happy because I I was like oh what if what if I uh, boiled the uh, you know the, the wort or the mash too long and it killed all the enzymes off in it and I thought I was gonna have like really low you know gravity and I'd be screwed you know pretty much and <laughs> it came out to 87% uh, brew house efficiency so I'm pretty happy I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a third decoction on this for mash out and uh, raise it to 170 for about five minutes or so and then I'm gonna start my uh, my Vorloff and my collecting my runnings and then sparging here's my Vorloff Something here Something in there. So I got my uh, sparge done. I collected 6.3 gallons of uh, wort, sweet wort, and uh, it's roughly 6 gallons and 39 ounces. So I got about 4.5 gallons over there, and the remainder is in there to add to it later because I didn't want to boil over. And it's about 197, 198 hot bricks starting to form. Not quite there yet, though. I just pre-measured all my hops that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using um, three quarter ounce of 4.7 percent alpha acids uh, American American grown German holotar and a half ounce of 4.3 alpha acids of German grown German holotar and a half ounce of German grown Tentnager 3.7 alpha acids and a half ounce of German grown German select spal spaldings or whatever you call it at 2% alpha acids and that's all for 60 minute boil and uh, 2.4 ounces